about this team doing this because the exact same thing happened to us at home. They did this, whether it's a post-up or a drive, and we tried to force these passes or they just deflected the ball. And you got to play off a two. You got to think to spray the ball. We should have had, we should have taken over 53s tonight. And we took, uh, what is it, 42? We took 42 threes, and that wasn't enough. We shot 43, 42% from the three point line, and that wasn't enough against this team for us, the way we play. We got to shoot 50 plus threes, and that means we got to take care of the ball, drive it, fill a second guy coming, and just get off of it and let the dominoes fall from there. But we're not going to be able to go make plays thinking we're going to drive it and make the assist or think we're going to drive it and power through two or three guys and score it. Uh, so the, the, the turnovers and our inability to shoot the ball when we're open from the three-point line, which caused us to take worse shots, uh, in my opinion, hurt us uh, with, 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 with Jalen. I mean, he scored one-on-one pretty easy tonight. So we had to double-team him. And, you know, to his credit, he just hit, hit the open guy. Uh, right away, he didn't try to force it. He didn't do anything crazy. He just got off the ball, and he, I, I got to give Josh Hart credit because he he made plays. He made the right. He hit some tough shots, but he made the right passes. He scored the bucket, and so when you have a great player like uh, Jalen, and you got to double team him, uh, you're expecting somebody else to beat us, and that's somebody else tonight. At least on the offense end of the floor, I, again, I thought we hurt ourselves by turning it over too much and passing up open shots, but. Uh, um, you got to give uh, Josh credit because uh, he made tough play after tough play after tough play uh, in the paint. Yeah. If you think about it, how many threes did we hit early on? We were just we were letting that thing fly, and you know we weren't driving in the paint, trying to make these shuffle passes. We weren't trying to power through two or three guys and finish. We were taking what they gave us, and the game was real simple: boom, open, shoot it. I, nobody hesitated. But as the game went along, Chris, I mean, we passed up open shot after open shot after open shot. And then we try to drive in the traffic. And every time we drove in the traffic and you know, try to power through guys or they spun, they're like this. And so we made the game harder on ourselves as it went along. And because they're a good defensive team, it's not like they're going to come out and play soft to start. Tim's not going to let that happen. And the players they have, they're, they're not going to let that happen. They're going to play their behinds off. But you, we have to be disciplined to play a certain way for 48 minutes and we didn't do it. So now you start passing up those shots and the shots become more difficult. They turn it over and they get easy buckets, you, you know, and next thing you know, their confidence starts to go like this. And that's a product of not consistently doing what we did to start the game, make moving it easy to the open guy. And if you're open, let it fly. Uh, and it's a product of that that's caused uh, – them to gain that confidence defensively and us to start missing shots late when we were open. Because we still had some open looks. But by then, you know, being up 21 and good team at home, they come back, now the shot's a little bit harder. We're a little bit tighter, you know. So you give them credit. But, man, I tell you what, it's, it's the same story as, as at home. Good. How are you doing? I apologize, but I don't really know uh, Philip Petrusov. Is that am I saying it right, Petrusov? I don't really know his game. I don't. I don't want. I don't watch a lot over there during the season. So that would be a question for our, like our scouts and our GM. Uh, but uh, I think Sasha is a hundred percent. You know, um, it's been I don't know seven weeks, seven eight weeks since he sprained his ankle, and and they said his injury would be four to six weeks. So I I, I think he's a hundred 